Welcome to another episode of the Espresso Shots. My name is Roy Downing, and I'm joined here today by Sasha Narishkin from Vestak. Sasha, how are things? How are things? Things are fine. The palms have packed their bags to go home. Yeah, can we need, please not talk about that right now? Thing or you don't want to talk about No, that, I'm, I'm, yeah, I was hoping Americans they would have also packed their bags and gone home. <laughs> as the, uh, the Mexicans, so there are lots of people who are uh, heading on home. Have you seen the Washington Post headline when they actually went out? Who's the Yanks? Yeah, the Washington Post. Um, they had a big photo of Landon Donovan on, lying on the ground and his you know, hands on his head. And with a headline saying, well, this sport isn't really that good. Or this so, sport sucks, or something something to that degree. Know, that's kind of typical, whereas if yeah, one, spoil they sports. would have been a renewed energy. Yeah. yeah. They can't even call it football, they call it soccer. But that aside, our markets today are kind of neither here nor there. This is quite a big week in terms of their employment numbers at the end of it. I mean, I guess everyone focused on the G20 um, yeah. over the weekend. I, you know, I must admit, having read kind of the key points, of which I think they're... 47 or 48, um, you know, there's another point in the uh, kind of, um, you know, notes underneath uh, the key points, and it suggests that even though you're going to be kind of bound by these rules, you can do whatever you want. So <laughs> the only thing I read into it is that it was just another talk shop and people's commitments to reducing debt levels and you know, it's got some folks up in arms, uh, none other than uh, Krugman, whose uh, op-ed piece in the New York Times today is something along the lines of welcome to the Third Depression. But, you know, he's um, that's the kind of court that he's been in uh, all along. So I guess um, maybe that big data point at the end of the week why they give markets kind of a little bit of more direction. Okay, um... Anything constructive coming out of the G20? You were saying that you know, it's just another talk show, no. but you know, do you think <laughs> nothing else? No, it's just a talk shop. I don't know. Maybe it gave Angela Merkel and David Cameron a chance to watch the football together. But, <laughs> you know, to be perfectly honest, um, I'm not quite sure what comes out of it. So I heard one line which I thought was quite funny, which a fellow said, this is, like, uh, this is like buying a lottery ticket. It's very exciting in the lead-up to the lottery, but you're normally deflated thereafter because you never win. Thank you